Today, I want to discuss my actual experience using the Ryobi P4001 Drain Auger, or Snake as I like to call it. To jump to the tool in action, please skip to the next section. This video will likely only appeal to DIY homeowners. I say homeowners because those renting will likely have a landlord or maintenance person responsible for clearing out drain clogs. I also said DIY because to be blunt, this is a dirty job that most homeowners will rather pay a plumber to do, and for good reason too. Finally, the smaller size of this tool limits it to kitchen and bathroom drains up to 2 inches wide, which I consider reasonable since larger, more capable units can be harder to use and store. Regardless, you will likely see some version of this tool at some point in your life, and when you do, it is guaranteed to be a bad day. You will also likely see this more often in the following situations. For example, if you actually use your kitchen and pour stuff like grease down the sink, or if you live with someone who has long hair, or someone who loves to constantly flush baby wipes down the toilet. You will see some nasty stuff in this video, so veer beware. Before using the tool, you really want to get familiar with the switches. The first controls the direction of rotation, which advances or retracts the cable. The second is the auto feed lock, which moves the cable without you having to squeeze the pommel, which is this button here. In the majority of this video, I am using auto feed and not the pommel. The third locks the cable in place to help clean out an area. There are multiple combinations possible and it's really easy to get confused while in the middle of a job, so practice using this tool in your garage or somewhere outside. Let's start with the standing shower, which was draining slowly. I pried up the drain cover, and the main cause of my problem is obvious, which is hair getting trapped. Removing this clump will likely already solve the problem without even using the snake. However, since I have it, I'm going to use it to clean out any hair that has gotten further down the line. I begin by turning the water on and manually feeding the cable through the P-trap underneath. This requires that the auto feed lock is released. Once past the trap, I engage the auto feed lock and set the direction forward to advance the cable. I make a best guess as to how far away the main larger 3 inch drain is and I stop advancing it around that point. More on this later. If you run into any clogs, you stop and lock the cable in place. While running it in place, the pointed tip will work its magic by cutting through the obstruction. Since I did not have a clog, I then reverse direction to retract the cable out of the drain, and this takes a while, so be patient. Every so often, I like to stop and lock the cable in place and run the tool at high speed to further clean out the pipe. As it keeps retracting, you can see hair being dragged out along with it. If you have a lot of crap coming out, you should repeat the whole process just to make sure you get everything out. The shower went well, so I decided to snake the nearby sink, since I know a lot of hair also makes its way down there. Since I have access to the trap, I removed it. I repeated the same steps as with the shower, and there was also some hair that came out. I did not show this in the video, but you want to use good gloves to remove the hair and gunk as and before the cable retracts back into the drum. The top part of the sink drain was rusted and shattered itself while removing the trap, so I tried using the tool to clean it out, just for fun. I don't really think it was meant for this, and you probably can do it faster using manual hand tools. Really quick note for anyone wondering, this drain is the Everbuilt and is $40 to $50 at Home Depot, but if you can get it to fit, they have cheaper plastic alternatives that won't rust for $10 to $20. Finally, the kitchen sink was also draining slowly. In this case, I actually made it worse with the snake and created an actual clog, but that is not the fault of this tool. Over time, I have poured a lot of grease, grain, flour, paint, drywall compound, and other crap that I really shouldn't have. I think what happened was the cable just mashed all the stuff together and created a complete blockage. I didn't realize this until I started putting all the pipes back together for the first time and water overflowed from the sink drain. I removed part of the system to test and water backed up through the funnel so I knew something was wrong because it wasn't doing this before. Running the snake through the second time, you can actually see where the snake hits the blockage. Unlike normal bends in the pipe, where the snake eventually works its way through, if you try to auto-feed into the clog, the coil just snaps back out with nowhere to go. This is where you really have to be patient. If you can somehow get water running through the system, it may help, but in this case, no other fixture goes through the strain line. 
So I alternated between retracting the cable and advancing forward into the clog. Every few attempts, I lock and spin the cable in place at high speed, which helped clear out the clog, but it took five minutes or more. Unfortunately, I did not get much footage here because I was freaking out that I might have broken something. Definitely some sweating going on. I am lucky and have access underneath to the kitchen drain, so I had a rough idea of how far to advance the cable. Here you can see it is about 10 to 12 feet before reaching the larger main drain. I avoided going further than that because if there is a complete blockage in that area, there is a chance the cable will unwind onto itself and jam itself in that pipe since it isn't rated for anything over 2 inches. I've seen so many videos of people blindly unwinding all 25 feet of this tool, but I like to play it safe since I'm new to this. Afterwards, I just put the pieces of the drain back together and check for leaks. For the kitchen sink, I don't have a stopper so I just filled a bucket or huge pot of water and poured it down. I noticed that this sink is the only fixture in my house with what looks like a S trap, so maybe that's why it still drains rather slow, compared to every other sink in the house with a P trap. Part of the drain is also ABS pipe, so it makes me wonder if someone tinkered with it or removed the vent while remodeling. Final thoughts, for my purposes, this tool is worth it because drains get gunked up over time. It's not like hair will disappear, and if I told you I will never pour paint down the sink again, I am lying to myself. This can be good for preventative measure, and if you respect its limitations, I would highly recommend it. I have seen my plumber use a much larger snake in my last house, where the main drain got clogged. I tried to replicate some of the techniques he showed me, but obviously I don't do this daily for a living. Much respect to you guys out there, and if you have corrections to anything I said, please leave a comment below, and thank you for helping others out on this channel.